Nashville is known as Music City USA. Historically, so much music has come out of this town. It's also known as a guitar town. There are lots of guitar stores here in Nashville. We had to really come up with something different. Hi, my name is Pamela Cole, and welcome to Fanny's House of Music here in East Nashville. The name Fanny's House of Music, uh, we named after one of the very first all-girl bands named Fanny from the early 70s. Lee Maples and I, the other owner, decided to open a music store that is comfortable for everybody, including women and children. We are the only music store that promotes women the way that we do in the world. It's a serious mission that we have uh, to, uh, to make sure that every little girl gets a chance to play a power chord um, and to be loud. Fanny's House of Music is in an old house in East Nashville. I believe it was built in 1910, 1915. We were lucky to find this house. Uh, the man that owns this house lives right across the street. He's also a musician and he has been instrumental in keeping us afloat. We uh, opened Fanny's House of Music right in the middle of the crash of 2008. So we had nowhere to go but up and we're still here 10 years later. Um, there's different spaces in here. Um, we have an acoustic room, electric room, uh, some vintage clothing and uh, tchotchkes. Uh, we also have lesson rooms. In the main bathroom, there are pictures of, of uh, famous fannies on the wall. I think we're, we're uh, a little different than most of the music stores uh, that do vintage here in Nashville. Our gear is geared towards players, uh, it's player quality, has all the bumps and, and uh, and dings on them that, and and maybe some mojo that you might expect from from a small store. And I think it allows customers then to get into a piece maybe that they couldn't afford at a, at another price point. The guitars that make us excited are the ones that have a story, that are catalog pieces. Uh, for instance, we had a catalog picture of that bass O guitar on our walls, and we ended up finding one. Of course, we took that one home because we're bass players and we like to collect fun bass things. There have been some purchasing trends in recent years. Uh, I think, uh, of course, in the last 10 years, Jack White started picking up harmonies and catalog guitars, which actually we really enjoy anyway. Um, we try to uh, bring those back to life where other stores may throw those away. Uh, K's, harmonies. Chicago catalog guitars. I think we're kind of known for that in Nashville. Um, a nice arch top that maybe needed an X set. We, we may not make any money off of it, but we bring those guitars back to life and then we feel like that's part of our job. Uh, we have had some uh, more famous people come in. Um, Taylor Swift, of course, was very nice to us several years ago and we continue to sell guitars to girls because of that uh, mention on the web that people can still look up. The best day here at Fanny's House of Music, as far as famous people coming in, Robert Plant came in. Hard to top that one. We were really glad that uh, Stairway to Heaven was not playing anywhere in the store. There you go. One of the stories that we always go back to and, and touches our hearts was a young girl who came in with her mom. Her mom took us aside and said, um, she had grown like six inches. She was very tall for her age. She had started, uh, they had started bullying her in school and uh, her mother wanted her to participate in a rock band uh, program that we had at the time. And, uh, and she did and she ended up taking lessons, uh, private lessons with us and literally just, you could see it change her month to month she was becoming uh, more uh, confident and, uh, and loving and all of a sudden one day she talks to us. Um, she uh, uh, ended up uh, doing music and uh, for, for several years and uh, was able to go back into the school system instead of being uh, privately We have so many stories um, of little girls that just come in, we put a guitar in their hand, we turn it up, 
so it's loud and you can just see them it just it's going through them those frequencies are passing through them and uh, and telling them that it's okay to be it's okay to be loud